Let's go. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and you join us in northern Spain. We've crossed over the border from France into Spain and uh, we're heading to see some good friends of ours. Now you may recall if you've watched the previous videos when uh, lockdown first happened and we were in the Algarve in uh, Sagres in Portugal we were with some other travellers and fellow friends then and a really nice couple that we was with Debs and Martin were travelling in their van and uh, they've actually stayed out here quite a lot of the time I think they got residency but we'll hear all about it from them obviously we shot back to England with those guys when Covid first started you know everybody was in a bit of a panic nobody knew what the situation was going to be so I mean if you haven't seen that series it's quite gripping our trip from southern Portugal all the way back to England so I'll put a link up here if you want to go and watch that little mini series but yeah look at the sunshine nice there's a few little clouds but we can see blue sky the landscapes change completely Spain is quite arid and dry compared to a lot of northern Europe so yeah really looking forward to seeing these guys we haven't seen them since we last had that trip back so it'd be really nice to spend a bit of time with them catch up find out what they've been doing in the last couple of years uh, yeah stay with us and find out what they've been up to Debs and Martin had given us the details of a meeting place which was a beautiful little village up in the northern mountains of Spain overlooking the Los Picos National Park. From where we were in southern France we had two options. We could drive along the north coast of Spain and come into the mountains from the north or alternatively we could head into mainland Spain and approach the mountain region from the south. Now although the southern route was at least 50 kilometres longer, the roads were much better. There were main highways where you could go along at a fair pace, so the time difference was only about 5 or 6 minutes. I looked at the terrain and the road conditions on a northern approach, and the roads looked really winding and twisting, and the mountains looked really steep. Compared that to the southern approach, and the roads looked a lot easier. So that's the way we went. from the interior of Spain which is really flat as a pancake I mean you can see literally for hundreds and hundreds of miles in both directions and we're heading back up into the mountains of northern Spain but from the south side so we've come past Bilbao and Burgos and then gone back up towards the southern side of the mountain so in front of me Lou will spin the camera around and have a look at what we're going to drive up I don't think it's anything like the Swiss Alps but yeah they're still a reasonable size so I'm expecting a few hairpin bends and some steep gradients we'll see how we get on
we yeah, we finally made it over the mountains. Slight change in weather. I was basking in glorious sunshine a couple of minutes ago and now it's all cloudy and a bit drizzly on the north side. Obviously uh, the weather off the uh, ocean, Atlantic Ocean is affecting that. But yeah, we're just coming through the little town now. Turn right onto Calais del Salvador. Oh, no, it says this way. There, the camping car. Come on then. All the signs in the town have changed. Head no. northwest toward Calais del General Mola, then turn left onto Calais del General Mola. It says now turn right. Turn left onto Calais del General Mola, then turn right onto Calais del Salvador. Turn right onto Calais del Salvador. Turn that off because Google's having a spasm. Here we are. See? Perfect. First time. <laughs> right, let's go. There's the sunshine all the way up there. Never mind. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm oh, alright. <laughs> <laughs> do the YouTube bit. <laughs> it's lovely oh, for you to you? just come through the mountains. Yeah. yeah. Bloody gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? Literally, yeah. just the other side of the mountains is basking in sunshine, you know. It's yeah. It's been lovely oh, yesterday, oh, but it oh. was a bit overcast today. Oh, <laughs> So we're up in the hills in northern Spain and uh, we're just meeting Debs and Martin on this uh, like a council provided motorhome air up in the mountains here. Lovely little spot actually, you can see up behind me there's all the hills, there's the van park there, mountains all around, yeah really picturesque little spot this and uh, what you do, you go on the council's website you put your details, telephone number, registration and those sort of things and you can pay by PayPal or by card. It's only 10 euros a night and there's some fantastic facilities here. Each pitch has got electric hookup and water on your pitch. So that's really good. And then this big sort of leisure building behind me here, there's a uh, grey waste and black waste there. You can empty your chemical toilet. There's also barbecues around the back of the building and there's toilets and showers at the opposite end of the building which are open all the time so yeah really well provided for here and then just a short walk into the town and you've got a bar a couple of restaurants uh, there's a baker's there yeah that's uh yeah perfect little spot really as always i'll put all the links to this air in the description of the video if you want to come here yourself right so hello guys Hello. Hello. Hello, yeah. Mr. Greg. Hello, lady. <laughs> lady Lou. A long time, isn't it? Yeah. It yeah. is. Two years, I believe. Yeah. And for you guys watching, obviously, the last time we was in Portugal, just before lockdown, and the, Portugal went into lockdown, all the countries went into lockdown, and you guys were with us at the yeah. time, weren't you? Yeah. With some friends of yours as well. Uh -huh. It's a good job you were, because we uh, never had a bloody clue what we were doing. <laughs> and there's obviously that little little trip but that epic trip we did epic to get trip. back yeah, to the uk really, wasn't it everybody yeah. was a bit scared of what was going on and, and we didn't have a clue what it was all about did we? No, exactly. people were dying yeah. and yeah and we just didn't know the full stories and everything it was a bit frightening at the time. it was yeah. yeah and if you guys haven't seen that little mini series i'll put a link up the top here over there somewhere and uh, you can go and watch that if you like but it was uh yeah quite a trip coming yeah, back it wasn't was it? Definitely, definitely it was good trip. though it was good where we was all good, stuck together yeah, and helped each other out. Because we had the walkie-talkies and, yeah. and yeah. we had a bit of a laugh on the way. a bit of a banter yeah. on the way yeah. back and that, yeah, no, it was good. And Greg stepped up and provided all the uh, PPE <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for the gloves and the masks yeah. and, the, and especially the paperwork. Yeah. the paperwork was quite... Um, to get through to various countries. Yeah, yeah. Every, every border was, was shut. shut. Yeah, so and then you yeah. had to provide where you're going and why you're going. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You yeah. did all that for us. So thanks yeah. for that. So we haven't seen you since then, have we? I know, two um, yeah. It's Bloody hell, I can't can yeah. believe it's been two yeah. yeah, yeah. So and the Browns, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they will. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So, we, what you've been up to then in two years, or stuff, go back to when you got home? Then did you have to obviously stay at home for quite a while? I, I guess. Think, and, uh, yeah, we, 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 we were. Was it about three? Well, everybody was sort of isolated, yeah. weren't they? So you yeah. had to stay in your own properties and keep yeah, away yeah. from everybody. Sure. So that that was an area, and then that sort of got relaxed slightly. And, and then, then how long was it before you actually got back out and really travelling? And... I can't remember that far back, to be honest. <laughs> so your first um, trip back out was with Ash, though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah well, I think we. Oh, I think basically Ash, we just said we, what. Well, we man, we were going to down. We were travelling down south. We were heading towards Devon, Cornwall, right? Just for like a trip out. Yeah, yeah. Things were getting more relaxed, so you could travel. Yeah. Uh, and Ash and Marie were in the peaks, so, and we didn't know her at no, the time. No, fancy coming back up so we travel all the way back up to the peaks and met, met up with Ash and Marie, Marie. Yeah, yeah. and then from there they we... were just discussing sort of escaping the yeah, UK yeah. before but for sure. a while because all the borders are starting to shut um so uh, know, a lot of van life has had a lot of problems at the time yes you know, people they... didn't understand that you know uh, Full timers didn't have anywhere to go, really, no, did no. they? So, and there wasn't really anything provided. And the police for... and the councils didn't know what to yeah, do with them. So, there was a lot of, <laughs> I know there was a lot of grief at yeah. the time. So, yeah. So, so uh, basically, uh, Ash, it was Ash and Marie who were deciding to sort of escape, weren't they, yeah. uh, from the from the uh, from the UK? Yeah. So they were thinking about um, going to France, getting going lost in the mountains, <laughs> lost yeah, in France. Yeah, yeah. He likes his skiing and that. Yeah. yeah. So that we said. We, it asked us to come along if we wanted to come along we said yes didn't we? so yeah. we said okay well, that's more of an excitement for us more than well who uh, wouldn't yeah, you been stuck indoors for a few months or yeah, yeah. so yeah we're all all up for that and then we well, were, who all wouldn't? We're, we're in good company weren't we good. so <laughs> yeah. so we uh we all planned for that and then all of a sudden there was a big change of plan right at the last minute I, he says well a bit of a change of plan mate I said, what's that then? He says, we're going to bloody Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> I so, went to Sweden. Well, it was always on my bucket list, wasn't it? Yeah, we Sweden. wanted to see the lights and stuff like that. But, but it was a race then. Yeah. Uh, because all the borders were shutting as we were travelling. Right. We couldn't go straight across. Um, so we had to come all the way down to France and up through Germany. Because yeah. they were the only borders that what we could go What was open through. at the time. So we would come all the way. 16 hours it took to do that trip. So did you have to get the ferry across from Rostock or somewhere like that, was it? Or... No, we should have done, uh, if we knew what we were doing yeah. at the time. <laughs> we drove the whole we way. We drove right? all the way through and then went across the big bridge. Right. It cost a bloody fortune. But I, I, think it was 100, I think it was 100, I think it was 100 and odd quid, 170 wasn't it? pounds, I think oh, yeah. it cost, no, doing the two bridges. Oh, two bridges, yeah. um, But the, the, the drama was, we got, a, is it, um, was it Denmark? Is it Denmark? Yeah, yeah Denmark yeah. said, we're letting you in, uh, but you're not allowed to stop. Unless fuel. you want fuel. Because right. we told them we're going to Sweden. Yeah. But that day, that morning, they were closing they the border. They were closing to the, the UK. borders to the UK. Yeah, because yeah. so yeah. nobody looking, seemed really. to like the UK for some reason. They shut in the borders. So we bombed it across, and then we had a big, big of, um, <laughs> drama at the Swedish border. We had to tell them what we were doing and why. You know. And then eventually they just let us in. Basically, just. I said, who are you with? I went, I'm with him. Because <laughs> Ash, got, Ash got through first, right. um, like talking to mm. the gadgets on the control, wasn't he? So he didn't, Ash didn't have his property then, did he? Or? No, 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 he no, was, no, no. No, he was van, through van life at right, the time, yeah, because yeah. yeah, he was had trouble in Scotland, if you remember. Yeah. And all that business, so he, he, that's why he wanted to get out. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that was it, and we had. Fair few months, three, 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 three months in three, Sweden. Three Loved months, it, absolutely yeah. brilliant country. Absolutely. So did you get loads of snow? What time of year was it? Was it summertime? Or? This time. This yeah, time, okay. that's two yeah, years yeah. ago. And the snow started to come down, didn't it? I panicked. Yeah, the, further, the further we went up. Oh. Trouble with the van freezing up and things back like that. Back door froze, you? yeah. Back door <laughs> and water just froze. Right. Everything just froze. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, saw, you wanted to see the lights, yeah. which you did. Yeah, but you said, I'm going back, I'm going back, it's 2D and just, I went, we're well, bloody not, you know. <laughs> I says, I want to see these lights before I go back. <laughs> I says, I'm not travelling all this way. So, luckily, we saw the lights and then we said, ta to Ash and Marie. Yeah. 
And that was it. We felt lonely as hell then, didn't we? Yeah. It was a, it was. a lonely place. Because there's no other vans. No, 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 nobody was out, really. It nobody. was quite emotional, actually, mm, seeing Tarata, Marie and Ash, because yeah. we'd spent that much time with them. Yeah, sure. And when, when we were going to Ra, I, I, I went all full, and I was going, Ra, and I, <laughs> I was bloody blind all the way down the road. <laughs> so we did um, a, a fairly quick trip. I mean, we, we uh, went to the... We headed... Because the snow was down and the roads were getting slushed. Yeah. And obviously we didn't have the right tyres. We didn't tires. know, but they don't grit in Sweden. They just plough right. and make it a sheet of ice, yeah. basically. So it's yeah. dangerous. So we bombed it to the Course. east coast uh, and then come down the east coast and then went straight across when it was less snowy and did the west coast. Completely different yeah. area uh, down the coast, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and then we the ferry back across to Germany yeah because it was getting a bit cold yeah, yeah. Um, but we couldn't enter Germany till we had a fixed um, address at the yeah. time because um, there was something going on with the COVID situation and we had to isolate so we had to have somewhere to go a fixed okay. address to isolate there so one of our subscribers mm. had um, a holiday home, okay. Airbnb. Uh, Airbnb, and he let us use that. Us use that, which was really mm. nice of them. And then the plan was you were heading further south, then were you? Well, yeah, because that, it was basically Sweden was just overcast all day, every day, and we were suffering with a battery situation, yeah. and it virtually killed the batteries. Yeah. So we were going, even though the sun. Yeah, looked as what was up. You, there was just, just no charge just coming over, through. Yeah, so was... um, we had to do a lot of travelling, obviously, to keep the batteries topped up. And we've just we just said, no, we want a bit of sun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we got into Germany, spent the ten days yeah, isolating there, Germany. and the weather was crap. So I says, oh, I says I want some sun. So we decided to head down to Portugal. Mm. So we bombed it down. And you spent to Portugal. Well, actually, we got in, all your Instagram and that. You spent most of your time down there yeah, in the last couple yeah. of years. We got in touch with Martin Elsa. Oh yeah. And, yeah. and he was working at the time on a on a campsite in uh, Lule in um, the Algarve. The Algarve. Yeah. And he says, "Yeah, come on down and nice to see you." So we basically bombed it again, another about 10, 16 hours, fifteen and hours then... to Lule. And then the claws did again. Yeah, and COVID. that was it. Then so we got to, stranded in, in They a... shut the site down because everything, there was no movement then. Oh. And the, uh, there was no van life situation in Portugal because they shut all the services. Yeah, yeah. So, so we had to stay on the on site. on a campsite for three months. Mm. Which was wasn't bad. No, it was all right. It was, we uh, it. It was all right. We, we enjoyed Christmas, it. Christmas and New Year there. Yeah. And that was the start of our Portuguese ventures. Yeah. Pretty much stayed in Portugal most of the time since. Yeah. Yeah. We were we were lucky. We yeah. we we got residency, didn't we? Right at the last minute. Yeah. And then obviously Cut that uh, bit out. you're not in <laughs> you're not in your self build anymore, are you? As we can no, see. You're, no, you're, no. In, a, you're in a motorhome, um, you've just got a Portuguese plate on, obviously. Yeah, so. it's one of the rules <laughs> over there that you're not allowed to, fit, to keep the UK um registered plates for more than six months right um i think you've got a um and it costs what? an absolute fortune to oh. get your vehicle transferred over when to... we were in the eu it would have been about two grand right to matriculate it okay. but as soon as we left the eu yeah. as in the uk it would have EU, cost over 10, 10 grand, grand oh, depending yeah. on on the, on the price, reg of the, yeah, age of the and vehicle reg, it's about ten thousand. yeah, yeah so it's ridiculous money, cost yeah no so the best the other option we had was we bought this one. It was a P plate, a Portuguese plate. Yeah, yeah. But but now, <laughs> but now I think we want a UK one. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've been chatting like you've been talking about you're going to do another self. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to do another self. I miss me self build. Yeah. I'm not a motor owner. I'm sorry, no. we're not. We're 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 too like we. We want to blend well, you can in have it your own layout. You can have yeah, what, what you want in there, can't you? Yeah. It's not just that. It's, it's a stealth. It's not. Well, it's not stealth, but it's. You seem to get away with more in, in park ups yeah, and. In, sure. um, I think if you if you're if you're in the camper thing, you know what we aren't we on about. It, you sort of blend in more. Yeah, yeah. You park this up in the car park where you're not. It's a bit dodgy it's where a bit you're more supposed to be. Yeah, if you're it's in a bit, big motorhome, yeah, isn't it? it is. And then we can park. I know. 
as van other than a few bits on top of the roof yeah. we'll, we'll park in a car park somewhere in a town it's a shut the uh, well, nobody knows you're there yeah. really. i mean when like we got van. when we got this i mean we thought it was it was fine well, it, it would suit our needs yeah. and that mm. and it's lovely when you're parked up on the site and you, you're thinking but Marty yes sir, because he says it's like driving a caravan on it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like to put a steering wheel in, like in a two-birth caravan. <laughs> really horrible thing. Yeah. So yeah, I want to go back and I'm going to do another. Well, I'm going to have a probably a hopefully a Luton. <clears throat> I'm going to try mm. and persuade we'll Deborah see. here we'll for see. a Luton. We'll see. Oh, well, when you're back in the UK, then we'll have to organise a couple of meets with some of the oh, others. Oh God, I get out and have a It'll bit be of a nice Definitely. actually because we've we've, we've just been out of touch really, yeah. haven't we? of the whole scene yeah yeah we've we have really lost touch with a lot of people we've kept in touch with obviously some on instagram like yeah, yeah. yourself and that but there's loads of new people out there we haven't even seen or well, met absolutely fantastic catching up with you again. yeah it's been god after oh yeah. god we haven't seen you for ages oh god yeah, yeah. we've missed you thanks just for really, coming out your way a little oh, bit for yeah, yeah to come see and see us, us. lovely brilliant. to see you yeah, we know we've missed you as well you know when... yeah just a bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah the early hours drinking sessions i think you've missed really <laughs> It's been a good crack. We've had a good laugh. I mean, even Lou's our bloody... She'll be stopping up there early hours. So when we go <laughs> over to the UK, she might be a five o'clocker. Eh? <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Lovely to see yeah, you. Yeah, and you... Have a safe trip back to the UK. Yeah? Thank you yeah. very much. And, and you, you, in, you when you we too. get back there, we'll definitely catch up with you again. And well, you, you enjoy, enjoy your Portugal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, cheers, guys. OK, see thanks a lot. <laughs> right we're going to make a move now carry on our journey down into portugal that was a really lovely couple of days with martin and debs They're a fantastic couple you know really down to earth we can have a really good laugh with them two guys so yeah that was really nice catching up with them after all these years and uh yeah really enjoyed their company so fantastic that we've uh, headed out of the mountains of northern spain across the plains of north spain there isn't really much there to be fair for miles and miles you can't see anything at all flat as a pancake and we're just coming across towards northern portugal and in a probably about half an hour's time we're going to cross the border into North Portugal and we're going to do a different trip this time we've got a you know a couple of months to sort of spend and uh, we're looking for, you know what could we do that's a bit different and there's a route that runs down through the mainland of Portugal from the top to the bottom and it's a road called the N2 obviously you may have heard of the NC 500 up in Scotland which is a famous circular route around the Highlands well, this is kind of a bit like that i suppose but there's a road from the top of portugal right the way down to the bottom called the n2 and uh, there's a whole load of historic sites to see along the way so our next series of videos on portugal is going to be based around that n2 route and all of the things that you can see along that route from the very top right down to the very bottom so we hope we'll find that interesting a little bit different from the normal travel videos and there might be some places there that you want to visit as well. So I'm going to wrap this video up for now. And then in the next video, you'll see us on the start of that N2 route in Portugal. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Cheers. Whenever I'm with you, I am all right. There's something about the way you make me feel inside. Counting down the days till we fly away Heading to the sun, only you and me are oh, don't wanna waste another day Being stuck here in this place No, I don't wanna hold your hand in mine Watch the sunset in your eyes Baby, I wanna still act like we are 22 right now Just
Oh 